Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Triple L with Dab. And I got a visitor with me. They've been here for the weekend. Can you say hello, Jackie? All right, so Jackson's visiting for the weekend, guys. Mm -hmm. One of my heart and glories, you know. But what we got for you guys today is gonna be the whole chicken. And we're gonna do a little bit of roasted potatoes too, guys. Mm, gonna be fabulous. So what we did, we put inside a roasting bag. We didn't put the slits in the bag, we left it whole. But you just have to keep watch on it, you know, because you don't want to bust inside. I did it for a reason. I wanted to have more of the juices in there. Yeah, we did a little stuffing on the side too, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. You ready, Jack? Let's get started. Okay, guys, so I've already washed the chicken down. We already know all that stuff there. I washed the whole chicken down. Now, this is a whole fryer, which means they had the giblets and stuff inside. And this is the neck here, okay? So after I washed everything down, get everything out of there, make sure there's no blood and stuff running, that's what I like for mine to be. And I'll, I'm going to do on the front what I've pretty much done to the back. Now I'm going to base it with uh, some seasoning. First, I uh, put a little butter and stuff all over it and base it down. Melted the butter a little bit, guys. You've got to remember, pat it dry, okay? Make sure you pat it dry. This is a neck I'm just going to put to the front. One of my mom's favorite. <laughs> uh, this is the neck I'm gonna put to the front. I just butter it down, put some of the seasoning stuff on it. That's the discoloring that you're seeing in the sink here. And some of the seasoning I'm using is like I'm using some cumin, uh, cilantro, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper, and a little seasoning salt and garlic salt. You know, just a little tab of both of them there. Uh, a little olive oil I'm gonna put on the top. If you look in the cavity here, I just have a little butter in the cavity. That's pretty much it. Now, I may stuff it with some apples. I have not decided that yet. Underneath the skin, I buttered that as well, guys. I was like, pulled the back some. You can see some of the butter and stuff in there. This is butter, that white stuff there. That's all butter, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, butter in there, some melted butter in there. Uh, first, the butter was melted, but just softened, pretty much so. Then I'm gonna put a little uh, melted butter in there. Then I'm gonna season the front of this chicken just the way I did the back, okay? With the season I just made, all righty. All right, guys, so I got the um, outside pretty much seasoned the way I want it. I've got a heavy seasoning on there with a little bit of tap of oil, but I, of course I buttered it. If you see through here, that's the butter and stuff underneath. Underneath there with the skin. I don't want to keep touching and taking my seasons off. See, that's underneath the skin on the meat. Just to get the butter, guys, so it's going to be a little juicy. So there wasn't an apple I had over there. It was a red onion. Hmm, forgive me. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little lemon on here. A little lemon juice, a lemon juice up in here. Let's just give a little citric uh, flavor, taste on the inside. I'm just gonna stick these lemons in my cavity for now. And it's okay. And I'm gonna put a little cinnamon, cinnamon up in there, guys. Just to give a little aroma flavor. This is just what I do. And I had some onions. I didn't want them to go bad, so I just cut around it. Got all that off, guys, so we try not to waste stuff. So I'm just going to stick my onions in there as well, my cavity. Okay. So we're going to um, take this here, guys. It's finished. I'm going to remove my gloves and stuff now. And then we're going to go ahead. I use bags. I love the bags. It keeps them nice and juicy. You have juice in your bag if you decide to make gravy out of. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to do the bag. Uh, I'm going to put a little flour in the bag. And we're going to stick the bird inside. Okay. Just make sure you get your bag according to the size of your your um, chicken, your turkey, or whatever you may have. Just put like a tablespoon of flour inside. And of course you know what to do. Make it in a bubble. And just shake it around. All right, so this is the pan I'm using. I'm using a little short um, shallow pan here. Okay. And my chicken is about five pounds, I think. It's about five pounds. So this, I'm using a shallow pan here because it's not going to cook that long, okay? I'm going to cook it on 350 for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to put it down to uh, 330 degrees for about maybe one and a half, about one and a half to two hours, okay? I'm just going to cook it a little slow then. And I've got the shallow pan here, guys. It's because I want the chicken to cook all, evenly all the way around. Usually if I have a big turkey, you know, we have the time on that is a lot longer. So the depth of it is a little taller, okay? So that's why I have the shorter shallow pan here. All right, so let's go ahead and get our turkey. Oh, oh, our turkey. So I'm sorry. Our chicken inside, okay? And we'll put it in the oven. All right, guys, so while the chicken and stuff is cooking now, and remember, after about 30 minutes, you might want to turn it down to 330 degrees, okay? 330 degrees. 
And then just let it cook for about maybe another, what, two hours almost, you know, you can check it. And if you like to bust the bag open when it's finished and let it get a little golden on top, you can do that too. Next, we got uh, some new potatoes that I have here, some red potatoes here. I've cut these in like proportional sizes. They all said they are pretty much the same size, just so they can cook evenly. So we're going to start doing that, guys. And then I've got a little olive oil I'm going to base them in. Can okay, you see here? A little olive oil I'm going to base them in. And then I'm going to use some um, garlic powder, some garlic salt, a little black pepper, and a little cilantro leaves. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut up some um, tomatoes and some squash and some zucchinis. I grew up right here. I've got another little spot right here. And we're going to put them inside there. So I did cut up some uh, spring onions a little bit. And I didn't have much of it left. The spring onion. So I'm trying to decide if I can part, like put part of it on my potatoes and some of my, <laughs> on my vegetables. I haven't decided. So we're just going to cut up a little bit of the uh, tomato, guys. And then I have my... Some zucchinis. Here and squash i'm going to cut up my tomatoes and i'm going to cut them guys i'm just going to make them circular they take the inside out and i'm just going to um, and they're not too large okay and i'm just going to lay them on here in the pan i'm laying them in the pan like that and i'm going to do the same thing with my squash and I'm going to do my zucchini, okay? And then we're just going to go ahead and then we're going to, um, and then we're going to sprinkle the oil, a little olive oil on top. So let's go ahead and get that part done. All right, guys. So now we've got the, um, some of the, um, vegetables done here. Okay. All right. And this time I'm just going to drizzle a little olive oil and I'm going to use a little, uh, garlic salt and some oregano and some basil leaf okay and i'm gonna take my onions guys and i think i've just decided just to look i'm just gonna maybe sprinkle those over the uh, potatoes okay so we're just gonna go ahead and put both of these in the oven and we're gonna bake them guys okay oh i do have some more spring onions here so do we want to just go ahead and drizzle them on here oh, oh i'm dropping them you can just Put some. We have enough that we could share. Should put some over here too. Yeah, it's still beautiful. All right, guys. I put a little, sprayed a little Pam in the bottom of all uh, the pans, guys. If I didn't say that earlier, okay. So let's go ahead and get these baked, guys, about 350 degrees, and we can bake for about maybe 25 to 30 minutes, okay. Just enough time, you know, for the um, tomatoes and stuff to cook. Just make sure they're tender, and if your vegetables is cooked, um to your liking, you can remove them then. All right, thank you. All right, guys. All right, guys, uh, I think the bag is full. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and remove um, the chicken. And I just wanna make sure you got that brown on top. It looks like it does. And it's swole like this, guys, because I did not slit the bags first. You know how we used to put the slits in the bag? So that's why it's swole. So I more or less had it in the bubble area, okay? All righty. All right, guys, and there you have it. It's, it's, uh oh, it's a little burning. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sit it up here for you guys so you get it. Yeah. So it's got the brown on the guys the way we want to do. And remember, I left it in the bubble for the juices because I'm not making a gravy. <laughs> so I'm going to have a little stuff and mix with that, guys. Uh, today, uh, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but uh, it's our special day for, you know, 100. It's another special day for that. So we're probably pretty much celebrating like all week long for that. We're just so grateful for you guys. And there you have it, guys. And inside here, if you want, you can go ahead and um, you can remove some of the stuff from out of the cavity. Remember we had the onions and stuff in the cavity? Uh, let me close this up right quick. We have some of the onions and the uh, cinnamon and the uh, lemons in the cavity. Remember, you can remove those out, guys, okay? We just got some for a little pop flavor, and of course, it smells absolutely divine. All right, guys, and no, we did not tie our legs. As my daughter's asked me, no, I didn't tie my legs, so I like for them to fall open because I like to make sure I get to my thighs because when I cut it, I want to cut my thighs and stuff off too, okay? So that's pretty much what we have for that, all righty? And the last thing we're going to see is our... Um, 
I have tomatoes and our squash and our zucchinis. It's our vegetable tray. We're going to see that when it comes out and we'll be complete. All right, guys. All right, guys, and there you have it. It's the roasted vegetables that we had that, with the um, baked chicken that we made. All right, and you got to put them all together. All you need another side so you can just eat it the way it is. All right, guys, until next time, it's all about love and happiness.